Welcome to all for you, Castara. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. But before we do, I just want to say hi and welcome to the new subscribers. I'm so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the all for you, Cast tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, we are just going to hop into these cards and see what spirit has for you all today. Um, I don't have anything specific in mind, only um, whatever spirit wants to kind of bring on through. I feel like this is something. All right, so we have justice, or no, judgment, sorry, judgment in reverse. I don't know. It just looks like something is not going to have its resurgence. Um, it just feels like whatever this situation is, um, as of right now, it is not being rebirthed or brought up from the dead. So it could be a relationship, could be um, an old situationship, an old friendship. Um, it just feels like whatever it is, it's just not going to come back around. Um I feel like if this is love, it's like you do have new love coming in. And I feel like, yeah, you just might not have had the offer yet for the new love. It's like this opportunity is coming up for you. But I feel like Spirit's just saying we have to kind of let go of the old things before the new comes in. I just feel like whatever this new is, it looks to be a really good opportunity in love. Let's see. Yeah, you may be feeling a little defeated when it comes to this old situation or whoever it is that you're dealing with feels, um, I heard isolated. Um, so that could be for someone that they feel isolated or um, I was going to say defeated, but um, let's see if I can. Let me see. Why isolated? Oh, I don't know if this person is expecting you to keep on offering up an opportunity that um, I don't know if maybe you've given this person more than one opportunity to kind of share some type of romance with you or some type of love with you. Um, but for whatever reason, it's like, oh, but I'll accept it now. It's like, what about the other times I, I offered? I, I don't know. I just kind of get the feeling that this person really just, uh, I hear it's all about me, 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 me. So it's like, I don't know who this person is. I don't want to say that they're narcissistic, but I do want to say that I think, um, they're just a little selfish. I want to say this person is a bit selfish and I feel like they are that with your time and your energy and then the wanting of others time and energy. I don't know if this is the type of person who offers in to the pot so much as just sticks a hand in and takes. Um, I feel like you're done fighting that old situation. Um, maybe this person's being a little underhanded or sneaky as well um, when it comes to I hear a fair fight. It's not a fair fight. So I don't know if this person is using manipulation tactics. Um, it could be mental. I hear mental gymnastics. Um, so that could be for some. Yeah, it's just toxic. I feel like Spirit's saying you have this opportunity coming up around the bend for something new. Um, but it will take you stepping out of a toxic situationship or relationship to um, free up that energy and that time and that space for something real to come in or something that has the opportunity to be real for you. I feel like this person is, I hear a space holder or a placeholder and it's like, I feel I hear outstate they're welcome. So I feel like whoever this person is, they've taken up too much of your time. Yeah, and it's like I hear they want to come back out of the cold again. Um, That's kind of why we got this not being resurrected. I feel like you're just done with it at this point. I feel like you've had enough or um, maybe that's why this person feels isolated or left out in the cold. It's like I feel like they're spying on you, trying to figure out what you're up to. You may, some of you may already have this new person that has come in. 
Now we did have this on its side. It's like, I don't know if they feel like, oh, all of a sudden, maybe I should take action and go towards the collective here because they're not responding to my usual uh, tricks. It's like, I, I, I kind of hear I've used up all of my tricks. So, um, yeah. Yeah, they might be trying to come out of their quiet time or um, to kind of make some sort of a move towards you. I feel it. I hear half-assed. So it's like a half-assed try coming towards you. I feel like they're going to try for a sexier energy or um, to appeal to you that way. Um, but they're still going to be up to their old tricks. It's I feel like this person is uh, here for everybody. So they may uh, move around from person to per person. I hear bop from person to person. So um yeah, it just doesn't feel like this person, it's like they're taking it seriously now until they get you back in their grips and then they're going to let it slack and let it slide like they've been doing. It's like, well, that's always worked in the past. So, you know, why shouldn't it work now? Um, I don't really love this person's energy. I just feel like, yeah, a lot of secrets, a lot of things that they would keep. Um, I hear underhandedness. So it's like, I don't know what this is. Um, for some I hear it's also in business. Like this person just runs things in a kind of lower energy. Um, yeah, I want to know about a new person. I want to know if we disconnect this and just this. You know what? I'm going to pull I'm gonna pull from here. I want to know. We'll go back to this, but I want to know about a new energy. Do we have something about it, this new energy that's coming in, Spirit? That's what I want to know. Oh. This person is hidden from view right now. Um, they may also be kind of watching the situation. They might see this situation very clearly that you have this off and on relationship with uh, this person. Let's see. They're using their intuition, I think, when it comes to you and whether or not it feels like it's time to kind of step towards you ancient wisdom. This person could be on the gifted side or just um, very wise, uh, very tuned in and tapped in. Um, I feel like this person does utilize their intuition. Yeah, unconditional. I feel like they have sometimes, now this is unconditional love and the new start and they're blooming of. It's like, I feel like this person has so much more to offer um, then this person could even begin to actually try to give. I, I just feel like this person doesn't, they don't have it in them to do this. I feel like they've not had to really step outside of their comfort zone or their, their ways to sort of track anybody down. It's like, I feel like the only reason they're doing this is because you're moving in a new direction and they want you on the hook just like they want those others on the hook. Like, I, I don't... Yeah, I, I don't feel great with this. Let's see, temperament. I feel like this person this person could be a Leo, um, an Aries, or a Sag. They, or they could just have strong fire placements in their chart. Um, this is that sun energy, that, um, that happiness, that balance. And I feel like this person has unconditional love. I feel like they would help you balance yourself out, um, your energy out. Um, I feel like this person would actually be helpful versus this old person who kind of throws you off. And I feel like they do that a lot. Um, I feel like it's kind of their MO. Yeah, this person wants to offer you romance, um, love. I feel like time and energy. I feel like this new person coming in looks like a solid catch. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see. I want to know about this person. Was that something? Let's see. I want to know about this past person. What about this past person? What's the energy there? Yeah, they again, there's that renewal. They want renewal in this situation. What do we have? Oh, there's two here. Persistence. Yeah, they might be persistent. I feel like they are actually coming towards you, but I feel like it's not enough. It's not in the way that you'd really need, you know, and it's not... Their energy behind doing so is not what you want either. Um, yeah. 
I don't even think this person really sees where they've gone wrong. Um, we do have this snake energy here. It does say energetic movement, um, but I feel like, again, I hear like a sidewinder or like um, I hear cobra, so I hear strike. So it's like this person's got that um, low vibe in energy. I just... Maybe in a couple of years, if this person comes back around and you're single, maybe they'll have changed or have grown. Um, but I feel like right now they're not even attempting to do that. Um, this person doesn't have, this past person doesn't have the best energy, um, nor good intentions. I feel like, um, yeah, we've got admiration. Yeah, I just feel like there's so much good energy that's coming in for you. To sit in the past would probably just, um, it'd be sad to miss this opportunity. I would feel bad if you missed this opportunity. I feel like this new person coming in that's just around the bend, it's like they have what you're looking for or they have um, at least something to offer you. I feel like this old person doesn't really have anything new to offer. We'll just put it that way. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else or do we want to go to a new deck? Yeah, I think we'll pop on over to the other deck. All right, we're going to do this animal one. I'm really feeling this deck. I've been liking the readings that come from it and I was drawn to it again today. So let's see. Do I have it in the right? Yeah. Okay. I just saw a frog and I heard frog prints and now I see the wolf. So I see passion and um, nurturing. So that could be for some as well. All right, let's see, Spirit, what do you have for the collective? Dragonfly. Fast-moving communication is what I hear. Um, yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they're really trying to, I feel like this person is trying to get your attention. Um, let's see. With something said. Let's see, what are they trying to I hear they're trying to speak your language. They're trying to talk like, I hear butterfly talk. They're trying to talk butterfly talk and you're a butterfly. It's like, um, they're trying to school themselves on the things you're interested in. So they have something to talk with you about. Actually, this is really sweet. Okay, so this person is interested in you. And I feel like they think in order to get your attention, they have to sort of get on your level. Um, and whatever your interest is, it's like they've really been kind of uh, bossing up on all that information there. It's like they really want to be very knowledgeable. So that way, when they strike up that conversation with you, it's like they want you to be surprised that they know about this and that and, and have it be stuff that you're interested in. They might even want to try and teach you something new. It's like, I hear old dog new tricks. So it's like, you might be very schooled in whatever this topic is. Um, but I feel like this person wants to, I hear they want to show up and show out. It's like, they really want to, they really want to make a big, uh, impression on you. It's really sweet. I feel like it's all with the best of intentions, whoever this person is. Yeah, we've got Phoenix from the Ashes. Um, I feel like this might, well, this could be you or them. I feel like whoever this is, um, this person is, uh, trying to get back into the game. Um, so I don't know if it's like that dating game or trying to, I hear get mojo back. It's like trying to get my mojo back. I don't know if someone was in a past relationship that really kind of drugged them down or past situations that drugged them down to a uh, lower level. And I feel like maybe they're just trying to get back to where they were that um, I hear that winning spirit. So I don't know if it's like this person's self-esteem was kind of damaged in whatever that situation was. But I feel like them talking to you and boosting their own confidence um, is such a good thing. I feel like this person has a lot to offer, whoever they are. Yeah, they might have a network of people. Again, I'm kind of being drawn to yesterday's reading. I believe it was yesterday's reading where they were trying to... 
um, they want to show you off. And I feel like they have this network. I think it was in the charms yesterday. Um, they were trying to show you off uh, to their network of people. It's like they know that they enjoy you genuinely and see see you very in like in high light. And they want to share you so everyone can look at them and say, wow, how'd you score that amazing person? Or um, it's like boosting their ego, but in the right way. It's not like an all ego thing. I think this person deserves to have their ego boosted in a way. It's like they found someone good or I don't know if that's like noteworthy because maybe the people that they've chosen in the past or um, that they've been with in the past were not anything to write home about or nothing to share with the group. It's like, I don't know. It's like they see something really special in you. And I'm kind of being drawn to this little charm here at the top. It's like you stand out for some reason. Um, something about you stands out. Maybe your passion, the way you shine, your energy. Um, so let's see. I want to know more about this for sure. I feel like they've been down and out for quite a while, this person. And maybe it took a while to get confidence up or know what it is it might not have even been a relationship in the past it could have just been something they were going through maybe the way they felt about themselves self-worth maybe oh okay okay yeah maybe they didn't see their own shine or um how wonderful they are or maybe they felt like they couldn't open up but maybe you're the one that they think they could open up to now we do have this B here. So I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they're a busy person. They may um, work a lot of hours or um, just be busying themselves with hol uh, I wanted to say holidays, um, but I wanted to say hobbies at the same time. So, okay, maybe they're busy around the holiday season. Um, okay, I wonder if this person's coming in soon. Let's see, the turtle. Um, I feel like, they may be coming in soon. Uh, I do hear sooner rather than later. So it's like not far from now when this person might come on in. I feel like they're boosting up their confidence so they can get closer to you. Yeah, they want to look their best. They want to feel their best. Um, they want to shine and kind of show off. Um, I hear peacocking. So it... And I do hear masculine. So I do feel like um, it's like showing all those you know, where those feathers unfold and they're, they're flashing them at you. It's like, I feel like this person really wants to make an entrance when it comes to you. I feel like you're important to this person um, or impressing you is important to this person. I feel like you're impressive, whoever you are collective. I feel like you're impressive. I don't know in what area of your life this is, but you show up and I feel like you show up big. Um, you're probably passionate about something in, uh, something specific. Um, it could be in work. It could be with your family and friends, or um, it could be a side project. It could be, um, what's that called? Charity work. Um, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Um, charity work. Something you're really passionate about. Um, it could be saving the planet or... Um, cleaning the oceans, uh, whatever that is. I'm hearing all sorts of things. Um, I feel like this person wants to show you that they can match your energy and um, they can shine too. And I feel like it's been a while since this person has been able to shine. I feel like this person would naturally be someone to shine, but I feel like something or someone has dulled this person's shine for quite a while and now they're ready to shine for you. Um, I don't know if you're in the spotlight somehow and it, they feel like they have to weave through all of these extras to kind of get to you. Like there's a lot of passionate people that might want to step in your direction. Um, I don't know if you're a boss or maybe you're on a platform. Um, could be anywhere. could just be in the workplace. could be in school. If you're in school, I just feel like for whatever reason, it's like you're that one that shines and people gravitate towards you. You might offer some type of service. Um, I just feel like you're a leader of some sort. And I feel like this person wants to show you their skills too. I feel like this person's like, you know what? 
I think I can get in there. I think I can actually win this person over. But again, I don't feel like it's in a bad way or um, in any way. I just feel like they really just want to show you who they are. It's like unmasking the self um, and shining. It's like I'm tuned in. I'm tapped in too, you know, in whatever this area is. Really cool energy. I feel like this person has a lot to offer. Not only that, but I feel like they genuinely care about you and they genuinely want to know you. I feel like they're interested in you and I feel like it's for all the right reasons. They might want to find something that they can um, laugh about with you, like something fun, like have inside jokes and um, yeah. I don't know. They want to show you a soft side or they want to protect your soft side or cater to that soft side of you. Maybe you don't get to show that very often or maybe you do show that often. It's one or the other. <laughs> um, let's see. I think it'll be different for everyone. Again, there we have that dragon and that lamb and I have shuffled. I have shuffled the snot out of these cards. So um, since yesterday. So I'm thinking that the same type of energy is coming in. We might have carryover energy from yesterday. So if you haven't checked out that reading um, in this particular portion with these cards, um, there might be something there for you as well. But I do feel like there's that instinct. I hear protective, um, on guard. I feel like whoever this person is, they have a lot to offer you. And I feel like I hear I'm going to do it this time. So I don't know if... There were a couple false starts or um, you might not even know about this. This person have, may have tried to step forward a few times and then I don't want to say chickened out, but maybe um, just didn't have the right amount of what they wanted to step forward with. Um, I feel like it, it was all depending on how this person is feeling about themselves, um, but I feel like they're shining now too. Yeah, I heard give you that smile, um, that winning smile. I see all the teeth here. Um, that's really funny. Yeah, this person wants to win you over. Yeah, they want to shine too. Um, gorgeous energy. You do have this person coming through. I don't know. Um, I feel like it will vary as to how long it takes for this person to step forward. For some of you, it could be very soon. It could be as soon as today. I mean, we really just don't know. Um, as far as, I hadn't seen anything except for the turtle. Now, sometimes um, they say turtles are slow, you know, the the tortoise and the hare, the race, but um, I had turtles and if you put them on the ground while you clean their cage, they can run pretty fast. <laughs> um, enough that you'd have to hurry up and, and grab them before they, they get away, right? Um, so it could be sooner rather than later. Let's see. All right, we have these and I haven't used these in a little while, but I really like these. So let's see. One more message for the collective here, Spirit. What do you want to bring through for this amazing collective? I'm so excited for you. I can't wait until love comes in for you all. If that's what you're waiting for, of course, and that's what you're wanting. But for those of those of you who do, I can't wait to hear about it. I hope you'll post it in the comments when these amazing people come along and sweep you off your feet. All right. We have the garden. So growth. This could be about self-growth, growth, I hear growth and promotion. So this could be about work. Those of you who own your own business or are building your business from the ground up, just know that you have really good coming, I heard, influx of um, maybe assistance. It could be money coming in. Um, but I do feel like whatever it is you're creating, you're putting so much effort into that. And I feel like spirit is pouring their hands into the pot as well. It's like they see you creating and they're like, hey, we can pour some in here. And I feel like, excuse me, you're someone standing in a space of allowance and you're allowing divine to just kind of uh, pour into different areas of your life. I love that energy. So I feel like whoever you are, you're just welcoming all these blessings in. Um, and for those of you who aren't there yet, who aren't um, 
just in that state of allowance, all you have to do is kind of just say, you know, I'm open to receive all these blessings, all divine blessings for me. I'm open to receive. It's like, make that your little something you say. You could say it once a day and to yourself. You don't even have to say it out loud. Um, you could write it on a little sticky note and post it somewhere where you can see it. It's like just that reminder that I'm open to receive um, because I feel like spirit really does need, yeah, they really do need you to open that doorway for them to uh, create more movement in your life. Um, but I feel like some of you are already doing that. Um, we do have a snake and it was in reverse. So you may have had someone around you that you kind of pinpointed uh, who the snake was. I hear snake in the grass. So I don't know if you had someone around you who was kind of thwarting you or slowing your progress in some way. Um, but I feel like whoever that is, they're on their way out or have already been out. They may have been doing something with your information or they may have been sending you emails. Um, I don't know if this is threatening type stuff or um, trying to frighten you in some way. I do kind of get that energy. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if someone was trying to stop you or slow you down or if this is coming up for you that someone might. This could have been someone that was loyal to you in the past but is no longer loyal to you. Mm. This could have been an old friend, um, an old partner. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Um, maybe, yeah, I feel like the decision you chose to take, I feel like was to go in a different direction. Maybe you stopped working with this person or you stopped collaborating with this person. Um, now I'm hearing this could be in any area. It's like, I feel like whoever you are, whether you own a business or not, or whether you're just building yourself up, you're building up your finances, you could be working for someone and, um, have room to grow and expand in this company. Um, Whatever the case may be, I feel like there is a snake. I don't know if it's an old friend, an old colleague. I don't think it much matters. I feel like it's going to differ for all of you. But this person, I feel like you actually see them clearly. And I feel like that was the key you needed to move in a different direction or to take a road. Uh, I hear also take the high road. So I feel like you're being commended on taking the high road. Um, you may have pointed this person out and said what you had to say and then moved in a completely uh, different direction. I feel like um, I feel like that move in that that new road that you took was the right move. Yeah, from away from them. I feel like um, this may have been a situation that really upset you. This could have been someone that you really trusted. Um, we do have that dog in reverse, that loyalty in reverse. Um, I don't know if this was an old friend or family member. I feel like you're just following your hopes, your dreams, you're creating in your life. Um, now, there may be children involved or this person was acting childish. Um, they may be... This person may be known for their childish behavior. I am kind of getting that. And that actually was something that kind of came this morning now that I think about it. There was someone that came to me while I was um, while I was meditating this morning. And it was something along the lines of someone who's being childish. Who, um, it's like they want your attention. But they want to kind of goad you into like this argument or this... Um, they want to pull you off your horse. Um, they want to pull you down into their low energy. Um, yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, um, this could be someone you know well or um, someone that pretends to know you well. Uh, so that could resonate for someone else. Whoever this person is, it's like they're poking at you. And then when you turn around, um, and try to poke back at them, they're going to highlight that. It's like they can't wait to catch you in what looks like your wrongdoing. But I feel like their plan got derailed because you took the high road. So that could be a backstory that might resonate for some. Um, I forgot about that until just now. Interesting. Um, 
Yeah, so this person may not be done with their childish behavior. They may, may still be flapping their jaws over at a distance, um, but I feel like it doesn't bother you. You see through the immaturity and you're like, I kind of hear, are we still in high school or grade school? It's like even lower than that. Are we kindergartners? The way that you're acting is just ridiculous. So um, I don't know whoever this person is, but they're definitely, yeah. I don't know if they're trying, they're just trying to get a rise out of you. It's like they're flicking you and then waiting for you to turn around and get angry at them. Um, I feel like because they're ungrounded and they can't see clearly. Um, I think you're just over here shining and glowing and growing. <laughs> I feel like you put an end to this situation and this person is still trying you. It's I'm kind of annoyed. It's like, I'm not angry in any way and it's laughable. Like whoever this person is and their behavior, I feel like is laughable. It may be hurt because you're a nice person and you don't deserve it. Um, but I feel like you totally put an end to this a while ago. So I don't know why this person is still trying. It's like they have nothing if they're not getting a rise out of you. Or maybe this person gets attention when they talk about you. Maybe they don't get attention when they talk about themselves. Um, which kind of says a whole lot right there. It's like, yeah, this person could have been saying things that were untrue about you. Um, waiting for you to kind of get fed up and explode. But I feel like you're so over it and you're so beyond that that you don't even focus on people who act like this. Um, and these people, like, they kind of tell on themselves after a while, I feel. It's like it all comes out in the wash. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're just following your own inner wisdom and your own guidebook. And it's like this person may have even been looking to you for advice in some way or how to accomplish what you've accomplished. Again, I'm hearing, you know, flattery until um, it behind your back, they start talking about you. So they'll flatter you to your face and then talk behind your back. I feel like this person is really just an insecure person. I feel like they want all the opportunities that you have. They might even want an opportunity with a person that wants you. I don't even know if you know about this. Um, for some, you might not. Yeah, they're trying to create mountains for you. I feel like it's already in, yeah, or tower situations for you where they can catch you in the act of doing something wrong. Um, but um, I don't know why they can't see that you've already taken a different road. Yeah. I feel like they're just... Yeah, I feel like they're just... Um, you're trying to cash in on your abundance somehow. And I don't know if it's your energy that helps people create their own abundance. You might be someone people go to for advice. It could be for business. It could be for anything. But um, maybe how to further your life in some area. And maybe this person was just trying to kind of take pages out of your playbook um, to kind of steal your abundance or to, to kind of stop you from shining is what I'm getting. I feel like there's too much growth there. I feel like they can't even stop you if they tried. I feel like you just, you're on another level um, energetically. I don't think this person stands a chance in really taking you down a notch. So no worries about that, but definitely a jealous person. Um, but I feel like they're, they've been out of your life for a while. Oh, we can leave that. We'll leave it, right? All right, let's see. We've got some letters here. Your initials, their initials. You might even see, I see myself dumping all this. Um, we have a six or a nine, a W, uh, an eight, a G, an I. I heard dragon. I heard you're a dragon in a dress, so this is for a feminine. Um, the kind of message that just came through is um, maybe a masculine who has this dragon energy and sees you as an equal, and I heard dragon in a dress. So um, you could be very uh, fiery. 
I almost feel like it's kind of a warning. Um, like this person's telling people don't mess with her or don't mess with him. Um, they'll breathe fire. You know what I mean? So I, I am kind of getting that energy as a rollover from the readings. Okay, so that's what we have for that. Now I'm going to pull some charms for the collective. Sorry, shaking the camera. All right, what do we have for the collective? Messages. Yeah. I feel like this is the same one from yesterday. It's like, um, again, I hear somebody wants to introduce you to all their people. This could also be in a work-related way, in a business way, um, not just for pleasure and fun and um, having, having that guy or girl on your arm. It's it's more, um, this, this time I kind of feel like there is more business as well. It's like they want to introduce you to uh, maybe their boss or somebody they work for, um, or maybe kind of, I had, I heard get you in there too. So that could be for someone else. We do have an ancestor on deck here. We have a masculine ancestor. So um, could be a crossed over uh, dad, uncle, brother, um, close family friend. But I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, I feel like they're ushering in something new. Um, it could be a new part of your path. And I feel like they're ushering in peace on your path as well. Could be something to do with luck or lucky, being lucky. Or again, I hear that could be a nickname. Um, this could be a crossed over friend as well. Uh, masculine energy. Yeah, I am hearing something about, I did hear something about baseball. So that could be for someone or I hear sports in general, um, whoever this person is, they just want to let you know that they're with you. I feel like they're visiting or they're around. You may smell their cologne or um, just in your mind hear their laughter or something when you're doing something or you do something funny. Um, you might just realize that their energy is with you. I feel like, um, and that could be around about now or anytime you get to this reading these readings are timeless so um, whenever you get to this it could be right for you uh, we do have two elephants here they may actually be trying to pull in a certain partner for you or create a love match or um, maybe helping you to move in the direction where this person might be yeah I hear times are busy so I feel like I don't know if this week ahead is going to be a very busy week for you ahead, um, but I do feel that way for some of you. I heard juggling and I hear kids and work and family. And so I don't know if, and I hear incoming family. So that could be for some of you as well. You may have family coming to visit um, or you may be celebrating uh, a family Christmas party or a family holiday party um, this week. Could be earlier. I do see we have a feminine energetic here coming in uh, as a soulmate. Um, and I feel like coming in for a masculine or is ready for the masculine to step towards her. And we do have that energy as well. That could be happening very soon. There is a certain amount of depth that comes with this connection. Um, this is definitely um, like soulmate energy, twin flame energy counterpart energy right so whatever you call it whatever your name for it is this person could have been right under your nose for quite a while they might all of a sudden start standing out in a new way you may hear something about them i heard what's the tea what's the gossip um so i don't know if somebody's trying to find out about you maybe i'll do a reading on that What's the tea or the gossip on you? Um, maybe I'll do that the next reading, maybe tomorrow. Um, but I do feel like somebody is trying to find out about you and what you're up to. I feel like they might just be interested in maybe taking you out or getting to know you. 
Yeah, I feel like it seems like good energy. It doesn't feel like anything is amiss there. I feel like they're just trying to find out so they can date you. Okay, that is what I have for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time.